Don't put it back in. She's so dumb, bro. No way she's about to put it back in. Mr. Cresswell was just outside the door. Show me where he touched you. I don't wanna. Come on. You can do it. No, I really don't want <clears throat> Damn. All right, welcome back. I ain't gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit sick, so I don't know how we about to make it through these videos. But hopefully these are scary, because normally, bro, this shirt looks fucking babyish. Normally, whenever I'm sick, whenever I get scared, it, like, opens up my sinuses, bro. Pause. This one's posted by Dylan Clark. It's called Storytime, short horror film. You gotta see this, man. You gotta see this. The Short Frights Podcast presents Poppy's Story, written by R.M. <clears throat> Lyle. Stories take time to sink their teeth into us. I could tell you now how this one ends, but it wouldn't have the same impact. Not yet, anyway. Right, the quality looks nuts. It's not until you see yourself in the story, until it feels real, that you become truly invested. Don't get too invested. This was something Poppy had to keep in mind. She was a hospice worker, which required a certain level of detachment to protect herself from the pain of her patient's inevitable ends. However, Poppy couldn't wait for Mr. Cresswell to die. His coughing fits unsettled her. His delusions drove her mad. And now, as she prepared to sew up a tear in his nightgown, she wished more than ever for his swift demise. Poppy opened a drawer to retrieve a needle and felt a chill in the air. Why, oh why, did Mr. Cresswell insist on leaving the windows open? Oh, shit. Distracted, Poppy's hand slipped. It's her. She pricked herself with the needle and watched as a spot of blood bloomed on Mr. Cresswell's gown. Then, from the other room, she thought she heard something. Oh, fuck no. One of Mr. Cresswell's sickly coughs. She listened carefully. Uh, no. There it was again. I would have turned that shit off immediately. Poppy didn't want to. But she knew she should check to see if he was okay. Or just turn it off. The floorboards creaked beneath her feet as she approached the room. As usual, there lay Mr. Cresswell, tucked under the covers of his bed. Hold on, bro. So weak, it sometimes looked as though he were dead already. I just don't understand why that's the. Hold on. But no. He was still very much alive. Like she should have been turning this shit off. Get to the door. Mr. Cresswell rasped. Something outside wants to hurt us. Alright, now I don't know what I do. Please, don't leave me. Don't let it in. I don't know what I do. Oh, Nowhere to run, puppy. Stay with me. Poppy hid. Bro, she turn the podcast off. Pleading with her through the door. Don't leave. Please, Poppy. I need you. I don't know if I'd leave, bro, because I'd Cresswell be. Cresswell rose from the bed. 
he was coming to find her. Holy shit. Coming to stop her from leaving. I'm not leaving, bro. Just say you're not leaving. Coming to keep her. Holy shit. To let her know just how badly he needed her. To teach her that there would be consequences if she were to ever disappoint him like this. It's open. I'm scared. I'm not gonna lie. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Bro, fuck no. Don't put it back in. She's so dumb, bro. No way she about to put it back in. Mr. Cresswell was just outside the door. Oh, shit. He stood there, unmoving. Bro, what? Now our story is coming to a close. Just take out the headphone. And dear Poppy is out of time. <laughs> the Short Frights podcast presents. Holy story. freaking shit, and she restarted it. R.M. Lyle. Stories take time to sink their teeth into us. I could tell you now how this one ends. Don't you want to know how it ends? No, bro. No. She's about to get snatched into that room. I'll show you. Mr. Cresswell took her delicate face and slammed it into the ground over and over until the floorboard splintered. He thrashed her about the room until her body was mangled and bent until she was nearly unrecognizable. And so ended Poppy's story. I'm not gonna lie, I'm turning that shit off, bro. Before they try and flip it on... They're gonna try and flip it on the viewer, bro. Fuck no. She's tripping. Tripping. Hey. No, what the fuck is this? Hey. What, sweetheart? What did he do? He... touched me. Where did he touch you? Show me where he touched you. I don't wanna. Come on. You can do it. No, I really don't wanna. Come on, Josie. On my private. He touched me on my private. <laughs> and cut. What the fuck? That's like a little bit. He's a wow. It's like I lost you in that character. She was not acting. It's like you weren't even my daughter. Which is good. It's good. Yeah. She was not acting, bro. We're gonna be rich. She was not acting, bro. This one's called Look At Me Only. It's posted by Tomoki Mazzato. Now this is about to hurt my eyes. God damn. You know how long this probably takes to make? Oh, 
私もまあからたてなきよね。で<咳>、えー。She, she's fucking up the play, man. She's fucking up the play. That kind of look like Shorty. Nah, this nigga does not care what she has to say, bro. Can't even pet the animal. Me, me, me. This man can't even look down. Are they watching that shit too? All right, nah. She needs to get the fuck, bro. I ain't gonna lie. She needs to watch out with that shit. Right, meet, meet. This man can't even look. Can he even like look at his food? Where's the hamster? Yeah, she's about to be pissed. Oh shit, that's shawty. She's about to fucking lose it. She's about to lose it. She's about to lose it, bro. I'm kind of scared for him, I'm not gonna lie. This, mind you, this man is doing all this. He doesn't even know her name yet, bro. I'm nervous for him. I'm nervous for him and the hamster. <coughs> nah, she's a tweaker, bro. Right? Oh, they're leaving. She's serious? Oh, fuck, no. Now I'm conflicted. Do you like her or not, bro? <laughs> see, see, look, he's falling for the tears. He's falling for the tears. He's falling for the tears, man.
Bruh, she's cool. She just needs to calm down with that fucking attention seeking shit. He's just gonna forget like that. <gasps> what? Uh, it's not bad, man. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs>